Okay, we've got everything. Recording. Yep. Another house being demolished. That's all they do around here is demolish houses. day here on a balmy Saturday morning. What a moron. What is the point? Oh, that breeze is beautiful. Have a look at it! It is... Holy shit that is swaying side to side. Jesus! Eighty kilometres an hour. Why is it eighty kilometres an hour? Fat boy! It's a fat boy! <laughs> it's a fat boy! It's a fat boy! Hello horsey! I knew this guy once, and uh, he had harness, or well, trotters I think they're called, yeah, harness racing, and he used to tell me he hated motorbikes, because they used to race past his horse trailer and spook the horses, now, I don't know how accurate that is, uh, that's what he told me. Last Saturday was the same sort of weather, it was, it was overcast. But balmy. Come on, boys. To Elizabeth Street. To the Eastern Freeway. To the M3. Yeah, that's us, the M3. safety cameras operate in this area? Road safety cameras or are they road revenue cameras? Oh, I'm, I'm confused at times. Road safety cameras. 
Well, the thing about road safety cameras in Victoria is they used to be set for 10% leeway. So 60 kilometer an hour zone, 66 was the cutoff. Well, they changed all that to three kilometers an hour. So in a 60 zone, you've got up until 63. In a 100 zone, you've got up until 103. Just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Seriously, it is madness. I mean, 50 kilometer an hour zone, how easy is it to, to get to 53? Seriously, I mean, you, you could get to 53. And this stretch of road here is notorious. There they are, there they are. See those boxes on those poles? That's them. They're the safety cameras. And here's another lot up on the box here. Safety cameras. Oh, what? 60 on the... You're kidding me! Come on! This is bullshit! Surely not! And freeways in, in, or in Victoria, freeways are such a boring shit road to ride along because we live in a city of rats and by that what I mean is, let's say for example, you gas it you, know, you have a bit of fun, I like, could say just along here, you gas it. You got pricks in cars with cameras who will forward that information to the to the cops. That's the society we're living in. Such a beautiful morning. I suppose I should set cruise control. Hey, cruise control switched on and cruise control. speed do I want to do and so that yellow light means that yellow light means that the cruise control has been switched on but not set and activated so pretty much this little toggle switch here you press it in to switch it on and you press it down once you've got your speed and that's it she's locked on turns green and you're good to go it's pretty simple to deactivate it there's a few ways some of them I'm not really happy with well what, what, not, what I'm not going to say I'm not happy with them some of them I don't recommend like pulling the clutch in that would be a stupid way to deactivate it I reckon um, you can tap the brake which I don't reckon I mean Obviously, if it's an emergency, you just hit the brakes, you know, at least you know it's going to deactivate, obviously, like all cruise controls like that. But I don't recommend, oh, I don't, I don't want it on now, I'll just tap the brake. Uh, nah. In this crazy city we live in here, in Melbourne, if you've got someone travelling behind you, they're liable to think that you're, you know, sending a message, you know, you know get off my ass. And you're giving them the brake tap. Now, the way I like to do it is the throttle, the throttle here, you can, it'll actually roll forward and you see as soon as I roll it forward that'll that'll turn amber which means it's been deactivated so here I go just roll it forward see deactivated and then you got the resume button you just lift it up bang resume where it was yeah, it's a pretty cool system I like it if you think you've got it set too quick you want to slow it down just a touch you press it down and that'll back it off now I believe that the cruise control when it comes to backing it off like slowing down in increments or picking up speed in increments so so that toggle there if I lift tap it up it'll increase a little bit in speed if I push it down it'll decrease a little bit in speed now I believe I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's set, even though this is the European version, or 
which has got the obviously the metric gauges on it I, I believe that is set in miles per hour so if I increase speed it'll increase by one mile an hour which is 1.6 kilometers an hour I don't believe it increases in one kilometer an hour speeds increments Harley Davidson Lowrider S it's not a bad bike. I should I should do a review on this bike. I, I think they're a reasonably popular bike in the uh, Harley world. Like all the, I'm pretty sure um, you know these Dynamite crew and these type of stunt guys, Harley stunt guys. I'm pretty sure they, they, this is the bike they either have or would like to get their hands on. Me, I'm. When it comes to stunt work on a Harley Davidson, I don't even attempt to uh, pop wheelies on this because it will end in absolute disaster. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Last exit before tollway. Last exit before we begin to eat into your credit card. <laughs> Let the eating begin. Start of the tollway. Oh, the tollway's got pretty fences. All oh, pretty. Uh, what's this dude doing? What is this dude doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Mullum Mullum Tunnel. Mullum Mullum. I think that's an Aboriginal name. Mullum Mullum. Mullum Mullum must have been the gang that was the original owners of this land. The Mullum Mullum gang. They stick cameras in these tunnels too. They're pricks. And when I say cameras, I mean speed cameras. Now I need to get off here somewhere. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thing, Ringwood, Ringwood Bypass, that's me! Shit! 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 Marinda Highway, that's me. What's this joker doing? What are you doing, man? Here we go. Here it is. This is what I like. I like this. I like this. I like this. I really like this bike. I really like this. Oh, wow. 